So the last video I made, I combed out my locks and then I decided to get a haircut and then I decided to wear a huh? wig and then now I have locks again. <laughs> so I know it's really confusing. I've been putting you guys through a roller coaster and if you're still here, thank you very much. So last year during the pandemic, I decided that I wanted to comb out my locks and I did, I combed it out. I had a whole video, if you haven't seen that one, check it out, where my family was helping me. And then after combing out my locks, I decided that I was gonna do braids and experiment with my hair. So I did cornrows, I did braids. And back then the reason why I combed out my locks was mainly because I was afraid that my hairline was receding. Huh? It sounds crazy, but I was really afraid that retwisting my hair was causing my, my edges to thin out, which realistically it probably was, but not to the degree that I was making it seem like. I was very dramatic. After playing in my hair for literally two seconds, I decided, oh, too much, I'm stressed. I wasn't ready for that natural, like loose natural life. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and get a diva cut. Well, the way that my hair was cut was cute, but I didn't feel like it was framing my face. I didn't feel like it was a shape that I was looking for. So I went back a second time and then cut my hair again. Didn't like the way that it looked. I mean, it was cute. It wasn't bad. All insert pictures. But I really just wanted something different. And my curl pattern, y'all, for the first time in years, I got to see my curl pattern. And it was beautiful. And I was completely in love with my curl pattern. I was doing wash and goes. But then y'all didn't tell me wash and goes were so much work and so much upkeep. So I got really overwhelmed real quickly. Like, a lot of my coworkers at the time gave me tips and products to use and stuff, which helped. Like, during that time, it was just too much. And I started the journey for a new loctician to do my lock extensions. So I wanted to go back to the lady who did my initial lock extensions, but um, you guys have booked her up, so she wasn't available to take me, and which is fine. So I started doing a hunt to look for someone else who would do my hair. Story time about that. I almost got scammed. So I filmed a whole video on how I almost got scammed during my search for a loctician to do my lock extensions. Y'all, I'm gonna post that coming up soon. And it's an old video. I filmed it a long time ago. I just didn't have a chance to post it. Almost got scammed. Kept looking and looking for locticians who could do my lock extensions and then I got tired and I put it in myself I didn't like the way the parts to hair ratio look like it's a different set so the way the parts look compared to the thickness of my lock extensions that I had done myself it just wasn't looking right so I was like mm, I might need to go to the professionals for this it was cute to DIY but I might need to go back and follow up with somebody so that's exactly what I did I found someone unfortunately I'm not gonna be sharing who I went to um, or cost or anything like that because no free promo on my channel anymore going forward it's 2021 new energy new mantra um back to the story I set an appointment with her went to her and she installed it for me my first set had 125 or 126 locks I know that I like small locks and like not like micro locks where they're sister locks but small enough where they're not like the traditional conventional locks but you know, I wasn't too picky. I just wanted my locks back. I just missed the ease of them. I got a total of 90 locks, I wanna say, which is significantly less than the first set. I'm missing my volume and I'm missing, you know, the amount of hair that I had the first time around. And I also missed the fact that they were all my locks. Like, I had been trimming away in my lock extensions with my other sets and most of it had become my locks. Kinda sad that I was starting all over fresh. Oh, so I even tried doing starter locks myself that lasted like two seconds I even recorded a whole video for you guys on my wash day and how I was wearing wigs over my starter locks that lasted like three seconds y'all it, it didn't last at all and you know I like the loctician it was two of them who did the job on me they're pretty quick it took like you guys know lock extensions take all day so just to be a little bit more specific I went there around 7 or 8 a.m. And we didn't finish till like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, they did instant locks first with my natural hair and then attached the pre-made lock extensions to it. It took all day, but it came out beautiful. The only thing with this set for me is that it just doesn't feel the same. Um, if you guys are wondering, yes, I am regretting cutting my locks. So, you know, sometimes we have to let something go to really know how much we're missing it. Nah, I was just, I really, at the time, it was valid. I did need change, but I wish I would have slept on it a little longer, though I had been thinking about it for like almost a year. Um, I'm the kind of person when I'm itching to do something, I can't rest until I do it. I have to experiment, go through the motions myself before I know what I like. The only thing with this 
set of lock extensions is a it's not my original so I kind of miss my original set of lock extensions and then um, the other thing is that as for my other set of locks you guys know I do have struggle edges so in the front it's very sparse but my goal is just to take it a little easy with my hair honestly I'm not gonna do too much and honestly I have always been this way after looking through old pictures and doing my own little self-reflection and research I realized that just I always have this front section of hair that's always been very short like it doesn't grow past a certain length and that's just how it's always been and all I've always done is just lay it down like baby hairs so I decided I'm not gonna fret about it I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna make a big deal I'm just gonna kind of deal with it um but one thing that is different with this set in terms of my front perimeter they didn't create like with my first set of lock extensions because the hair was so small and less dense in the front we still created locks in the front where they were just smaller size like i didn't mind that they were smaller at least the space wasn't like just a gap with this set they decided that they didn't want to do it for me and i decided that i don't really like that so what i'm probably going to do is go back and have them put in like smaller locks like two of them in the front because it's just like an empty space it feels like two locks are just missing <laughs> it sounds funny but that's how it feels so i'm gonna go back and just have them put it back in for me and yeah i'll follow up with you guys um the instructions for me is not to over moisturize or do too much with my hair during this time. I got two strand twists initially and like a cute little style and I took it out like two weeks ago. Now I have a follow up appointment where they're gonna go ahead and re-tighten my locks for me which is a part of the service and wash and style and do all of that stuff for me. So I'll be following up with you guys after that too to just kind of let you know how my lock extensions are going this time around. Honestly I think I found my aesthetic like I found what looks good for me what I feel good in and that's just locks um will I keep it forever probably not will I keep it long term this time around probably yes because I love my locks I like the way I look with my locks and until I figure out what I want to do later on in life I'm just gonna kind of coast because lock life is easy living I'm, I'm like not even trying to be dramatic like having locks you just wake up fluff and go or you wake up put in a bun and go about your business like there's not too much to really worry about as for natural hair, I had to do a lot more work that I really wasn't used to. I do plan on being more gentle with my hair. I do plan on doing more styles and just kind of taking it easy. And hopefully you guys will join me on this new lock journey. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, no negativity. Like, there's no... Some of y'all came from my neck on Instagram talking about some. You don't know what you want. And if I don't, so what? Like... <laughs> I mean, black women change their hair all the time. Like, nobody needs that kind of negativity. So, if you can't keep it cute, then keep it on mute. If you don't got nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. That's just the motto. I'm just going to show you guys how they look. I'll zoom in and show you guys how they look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to catch you guys in my next one. Bye.